Hello, beach friends. Normally, I would be sharing a beach combing video, but every now and then I like to create a video about what I do with a few of the seashells that I find. Today, I'm going to take a few of those beach treasures and create a seashell mirror. I'm using a mirror blank this time, so I'll show you how that worked out, what glues I used, and ultimately how I would approach this project if I were to do it a second time. So if you're ready to play with seashells, let's go make a mirror. Okay, this is a seashell mirror blank. One of my neighbors was showing me some materials she had to make things with seashells and she showed me a seashell mirror blank. I didn't even know these things existed, but I did spy this blue one with the sparklies on it at a thrift store. So I grabbed it and I'm happy to finally be able to use it. Now, if you wanted to purchase one of these blanks, I did find them over at theshellstore.com, but to be honest, the website is terrible. But at least you do have a phone number if you want to call them and get a hold of one. Anyway, I knew I wanted the frame to be level. So first I scraped off those sparklies and then I painted that blue color a more natural tan color to go behind the seashells. Now, once that was dry, I was ready to start the project. So let's jump over to Craft Charmin and see how this project goes. All right, the frame is prepared. And at this point, I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna start um, picking out different seashells. I've got different things. Um, I love not using broken, or I like using broken shells on these kind of crafts. So, or this, look at this little rose murex. That's broken. So that's like a perfect shell for a project like this. So the first thing I'm going to do is kind of go through all my shells and figure out what I think is going to work. I want like medium sized shells for this piece. I want it to be kind of proportionate. So I would like to get all different shells um, that are somewhat proportionate on there first and then I'll probably go back and layer with the smaller shells. So I'm just gonna start sorting and placing some things before I do any of the gluing. Okay, what I think makes this or makes sense at this point is to probably start gluing them down. I've saved these little guys I put in the middle because I figured I will be using them to um, fill in little bits. I'll be using lots of little shells to kind of just fill in. So I guess I'll just start gluing down. I mean, I guess it kind of looks okay from, um, I want the colors to kind of be proportionate and everything. So, yep, all right, let's put the tinies to the side. I'm gonna start gluing. Now with the glue, I did buy a new glue. Someone recommended this Beacon Advanced 3-in-1. I've tried it in a couple things. It does say that um, it's instant grab. Mm, I'm not really finding it. I do have my E6000, so I'm gonna kinda maybe tr try start with this one, see kinda how it goes, but I'll let you know. We're gonna start and um, I will report back. So most, it, some of the stuff's a little wiggly, but most everything is pretty much put down at this point. Um, I like the glue. It's, this particular glue, it's very repositionable. So where it says instant grab, mm -mm, it definitely doesn't. So what I'm probably gonna do for the next round is I'm gonna go in and so where you kind of see the empty spots, I'm gonna go in and just add little shells, maybe jingles and worm snails and, and things of that nature. So at this point, I'm just gonna start layering in. I'll probably 
switch over to um, a hot glue gun because it but the smaller stuff and I want it to really kind of reposition so I'll just have to see I'll let you know what I ultimately decide all right I just glued down the last shell and it's all done couple of, a couple of things um, one on the actual glue I did we had talked about this beacon, I probably would use it again. I just keep in mind, it is not, um, it does not have instant grab. So it will be very loose. I still would definitely use it as a layer, as long as you're keeping it flat. If you needed something like like this guy, he's, it, you wouldn't be able to, what am I trying to say? That if there's anything that's gonna be balancing, this glue is not gonna hold it. Something like that, you're gonna, you're gonna need the hot glue. So. I used the blank, which I like, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so for the glue, sure, go ahead and use the beacon. I didn't use the E6000. I feel like they're kind of interchangeable, but I definitely need the hot glue. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave a, drop me a question below. I'll try to answer it as best I can. The blanks. Now I do like the blank. Um, these are meant for uh, shell frames. And so for the most part, they, they work out really, really well. My only concern is that it's not made of wood and that is good from a weight standpoint, but it doesn't feel as sturdy. Okay, editing Charmin's gonna take over again here. So it doesn't feel as sturdy because it's kind of like pressed board. So it works, but it really, it just doesn't have that oomph I get you know kind of something that's going to hold something heavy with all of these shells and the mirror it probably should be wood this one's nice because it's a little bit lighter and there will be a mirror installed so this is something that's supposed to be delicate and treated with care but still so the next one I make I'm going to try to look for a mirror from a thrift store if I did find another one of these blanks I probably still would grab it because I would put smaller shells on it or I would just fill maybe just like the bottom of this frame with the shells. So I'm thrilled I finally got to use that blank. I get to put a tick next to this project. So second shell mirror project done. Next one is gonna be a cigar box. I have this really cool cigar box I wanna cover with seashells. So that'll be the next project. It'll probably take me six months, but not to worry because I definitely will see you on Sunday. So thank you so very much for watching. And this coming Sunday, I'll have a brand new beachcombing video. If you like this kind of stuff, why not go ahead and subscribe?